Hello and welcome to GSAC Gaming. My name is Ben and I'm otherwise known as Metalcore. And I just want to thank everybody for tuning in to this quick little announcement video. I thought it'd be a good time to announce Mystery Tournament 2 as well as go over exactly how the tournament works for anybody new that may be tuning in. So let's look at the bracket. So in Mystery Tournament 2 we have seven players returning from the first Mystery Tournament and three brand new players in Joe, Edward, and who else is new? Chris. So 10 players all in total. It's going to be a double elimination tournament, which means that if you lose twice, you are out of the tournament. Um, right now, I think everybody has lost at least once, except for Galen, our winner in the first mystery tournament, who went undefeated, if I recall correctly. But it's going to be a fantastic tournament. Um, so to talk a little bit about what a mystery tournament is, two players verse each other in a speed run of a game which means that they have to try to get through it as fast as possible um i kind of play test all the games ahead of time in order to set about a half an hour's worth of gameplay for them to run through but the the real kicker is that these players have no idea what kind of game or what game at all they're going to be playing until literally the very last minute so when you guys watch the video on youtube of these matches going down the players installed this game maybe like five minutes before the match was played and those five minutes have just been us installing the game and making sure it works so it could be a puzzle game it could be a platformer it could be a shooting game it can be anything and these players have no idea and that's what makes this tournament so fun because not only do the players have to play well in the game but there's also a certain amount of skill in just figuring out what do the controls do? What is the goal? Am I just running to the right? Or, you know, is there something more complicated at hand here? So that's a little bit about what, how the Mystery Tournament works. Um, I also want to just hype everybody by talking a little bit about some of the new things in Mystery Tournament 2 that Mystery Tournament 1 did not have. The first is that we are now playing PlayStation 1 games, and this has opened up so many great possibilities. 3D games are like realistic now for us to do, as well as, um, you know, just so many other nostalgic and classic games. Everything from Spyro to Crash Bandicoot to Doom and Quake. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And having those games available to us is gonna allow for some amazing amazing runs and really nostalgic feels I'm sure for everybody um, the second thing that's new is the overlay so if you've watched the first mystery tournament you'll you have noticed that the the first games that I recorded have were just with a monitor monitor capture like I'm doing now but the new overlay is gonna be much nicer here's kind of like a preview of it it's still was still de being developed at this time but at least it's a lot cleaner and there's going to be a lot more sprites and fun things on there as well um the third new thing um when i was play testing mystery tournament one there were a lot of like arcade arcade games where if you died you would immediately go back to level one no matter where you were there's no checkpoints no safety net and games like binary land had that which we did run but it sort of didn't really work out, as, as you'll, you could tell if you watch that video. But So I, I was hoping, trying to figure out a way for us to play these games uh, that in you know, sort of a marathon safe fashion. And I finally found it in terms of something I didn't realize you could do. So in our programs we used to run the games, like if the game had a cheat code system inside of it, I thought, you know, I looked into that. I was like, well, is there maybe like an infinite lives cheat that I can put in? But most of these games, they didn't have a, you know, a place where you could put in cheat codes or passwords or whatever. And I just thought, oh, well. But I actually did know that our software has a place where you can put in cheats through the software itself. And these include what are called Game Genie cheats, which I had no idea about. And it's just opened up the possibility for so many more games, so many games that would have otherwise been unplayable or not marathon safe, all of a sudden are options and 
let me just tell you, there have been some games I've been wanting to put in that until I found this out were just not doable. And man, we're going to have a lot of phenomenal games coming up because of that that everybody should be excited for. Um, as far as announcements go, I think that's it. We are, I think we have one more game in the round robin that will be put on, on YouTube before the Mystery Tournament 2 starts. And then the first Mystery Tournament 2 game should be up in a week or two. And there should be one up about every week um, until it's over. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in, for um, checking out GSAC and everything that we do here. The runners are always amazing and I'm so excited. It's been a complete joy to put this all together. And yeah, I'm hyped. You should be hyped too. This is going to be special. Until next time, stay frisky.